I'm in YouTube and welcome back to episode 44, 45 of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. And as the crazy guy that I am, I didn't do the end of the story. You know, it gets to the congratulations and usually in any other Pokemon game it goes right to credits. But, here's Hala. We're all standing on the Pokemon League. And, uh, yeah. I'm not even going to get into a team recap. You guys know my team by now. And we're just going to continue on. So, I'll let Hala take over. You've entered the Hall of Fame. Spectacular, much as the sun shines upon the moon. Illuminating it. So have the friends you made during your island challenge illuminated your life. You have grown so much. You really do love your Pokemon with all your heart, don't you, Time? Yep. That's precisely why he, is, he and his Pokemon were able to combine that strength to emerge victorious. Now we're all going to be aiming for your seat. I hope you're ready for some rivals. The first ever champion of the Alola Pokemon League. Let's celebrate so grandly that even the sun and moon themselves will take notice. Ha! Huh. All for that. All for celebration. All right, Tom, let's bust a U-turn from Melamela Island. We're going to have a big festival in Icky Town. Don't worry, I'll be sure to let Lily know, too. What I might do is, instead of making this a separate episode, I, I don't even know if I'm going to add this part in. I might just add this part onto the other episode. Might make it extra, extra, extra long. <laughs> He's like, what? Look at the items on his pocket. Everybody's greeting you, congratulating you. This is really cool. Because you do meet a lot of characters that are actually characters and not just sticks. You even have your mama! And then Meow still took my room! All the trial captains. The Probal Pass. They gave me a letter. There's Hapu and Lily. Fires of victory. Here he is, the first Pokemon League champion from Alula. This calls for celebration, so let's all get to it. Yeah. Even Gladian's there. He may not come out, but he's still a happy man. Everybody is dancing like they're having fun. And they all go into their weird little dances. Smiles, waves, goodbye. That's it! That's how he is! He's got work to do. What? So much going on! What a party. So many lives, so many people. 
time, congratulations on becoming the champion. It's amazing, isn't it? All these people are here just to help you celebrate this achievement. Time. Everyone looks so happy. The adults, the children, even the Pokémon. It hasn't all been easy, but I'm really glad I came to Alola. Getting to meet you, Time. No. It wasn't just meeting you, it was traveling together with you. I'm so glad I got to be part of that journey. Hey, Time. It looks like the party is going to keep on going strong for some time still, wouldn't you say? Do you think maybe we could sneak out for a second and visit the Ruins of Conflict? I heard from Kahunahala that the bridge has been fixed. Sure. I think Tapu Koko must be waiting. I'm sure it's wasting... Wasting. No. I'm sure it's waiting for you to come to a time. Now that you've finished your island challenge. Let's do this! Let's find some Tapu Koko! You know what? I'll make this its own, its own little chapter. Because it is. It's, it's a brand new chapter in the whole event of Pokemon. I don't know how to cut this. I really don't. But here we go. More story, more events. We're on the Mahalo Trail where everything started. Now this really takes me back. Back then I could barely think about anything. I was so desperate. But thinking back on it now, I really was Lunala. It, sorry, it really was Lunala. I mean it was Nebi who brought the two of us together, wasn't it, Time? Come on. Let's go! We've gotta go see Tapu Koko! We gotta go see the man! Ruins of Conflict. The Ruins of Conflict. I still wonder why it is that Tapu Koko helped us that day. Was it because of some connection to Lunala, the legendary Pokemon of the Alola region? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm just crazy. This reminds me of when Hapu became the Kahuna of Pony Island. My heart is pounding in my chest. Is it because of the Sacred Guardian? Is Tapu Koko here with us? It could be. He could be! Do I need my champ? No, I don't. Great Tapu Koko. It was because of your help. Sorry, guys. <sighs> it was because of your help that Cosmog lived and was able to become Lunala. Please allow me to thank you on its behalf. Thank you so very, very much. It's your turn next time. I want to see you show your appreciation the way that Alola champions could. I know you can do this time. I'll make sure your team is ready too. What are you expecting of us? You reached out and touched the statue. You seem to hear a voice ringing in your ear, as though it's coming from your Z-Ring. Well, this is different. Good Lunala. It is time. Huh? We're taking on Tapu Koko! Here we go. Okay, Lupin. It's level 60! This guy is amazing. Look at that music! Uh, we're not much higher than it, so level, a uh, good old rock slide won't do much. 
Oh boy. This is gonna seem weird. Not even a shake. Okay. This guy's gonna be a really hard cat. Nature's madness! What is this? I think Lupin's going down. No, Lupin survived. Okay. Now that I know the quick ball does not work, let's max potion up Lupin. Good. We're avoiding the attack! I think I can hit you with a crunch and it won't knock you out. Discharge. This is gonna do a lot. That was actually beautiful. I got no choice here. Yeah, it goes for electric block. We live in 05! He's in the red. Ah, so it's not like, uh... It's not like the primals where it stays up the entire time. We can full restore. Super Cell's nice and healthy. Lupin's done all the work here. We can take on Tapu Koko. We got this! This shouldn't do as much either. Now that we're out of the electric terrain... Gonna go for that good old... We'll go for a luxury ball. Make you a happy man. Let's do this. Nothing. Nothing. Nature's madness. Um. We go for another ball. This time, Ultra. We don't have many. I didn't know we were going to catch Tapu Koko right now. I like probably would have stocked up. One. Just one. I don't want a Master Ball already. I think Lupin's going to- Oh, Lupin's living! Don't be dishing the lit Lupin. This guy's survived everything. Charge. Another ultra ball. Come on, buddy. Stay in the ball. One. This hurts so much and a crit. I don't have a ground type to take this on. Lupin is the only one that really kind of resists it. Oh my god, stop. That wasn't a crit! Okay, throw that ball. Get in there! One. Two. Come on! I have no special condition that can stop you right now. Your electricity. All the other ones I can paralyze with Sparky or with Speedy. I can't do that with you. One. Two. Come on! I can't get your HP any lower! Down goes Lupin. Never mind. That nature's madness, I don't get it. I don't get it. You do a ton of damage and then you don't do enough. I don't have a problem with this because Lupin can stay alive. But I can't do anything more about your HP! Come on!
He's getting a crit every time! And I don't have the Pokeballs for this. Okay, you're surviving. Thank you. Thank you. Paralyzed? I'm alright with that. I don't want to attack. I don't want to attack. Get me out of that screen. I want to Ultra Ball. It's my last one. Get in the ball. Please. One. Two. Three. Last ball. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Tapu Koko is added to the Pokedex. We have Tapu Koko. Yes! One of four Tapus. That was a hard battle. You registered a land spirit Pokemon. If I were you, I'd check it out at once. Electric Fairy. This thing is awesome. Um, you can't name a spirit. We're gonna add Tapu Koko to the party. Just temporarily, guys. I just wanna showcase the legends as we go. Um, and at this point, at this point I could probably cook put Carmen back. No, we have as water and psychic. And we got Sam. I don't know what to do. You know what? We're gonna put you in the box. Because I don't think it's fair that any of the others like they've all done their part. We've sent Tapu Koko to the box. I don't know what's going on. Is this a Z power? Tapunium Z. This is the Tapu Z crystal. Tapu Coco. I know it'll aspire to ever greater heights at your side from now on, Time. But I'm so glad we could come here. It had been weighing on my heart. Come on, Time. We should get back to the village. If we don't return soon, everyone will realize that we slipped away from the festival. And they'll get very bad ideas. Hey! Everyone looks like they're having so much fun that I don't think they'll even notice we left. Oh, and the battle royales are about to begin. <laughs> This is awesome. <laughs> you can't help but be happy when everybody on your screen is happy too. Go in there, Meowth. You got this. <laughs> the fire burns as every hula dancer dances, and all the characters have a great time. The night is a wonderful celebration. And everybody else is sleeping. It's a beautiful festival, isn't it? Everyone looks so happy. I hope that you'll always stay just the way you are now, Time. Look how your joy has brought so much light to everyone here. 
I think even my mother would have smiled and laughed to see this if she could have come. I think my mother is getting a bit better. She even tried to come tonight. I've been trying to help her understand what she did wrong. Gently, of course. But she needed someone to scold her. But in the process, I think I've discovered what I have to do next. What is it that I can do? Time. I, I'm going to... And firework. Whoa-hoo! Okay then. Look at this! Everybody's so fired up! Woo! We've got the birth of Alola's strongest ever trainer to celebrate after all. And I'm gonna keep training with Elena for a while, and then I'm gonna beat my gramps for real at last. And then... I'm coming for you, champion time. They all laugh. Time! Sorry, I mean champion! I'm sure everybody here wants to see your partners too. Come on, and show us those partners that were there for so many of your discoveries, new experiences, and adventures on your island challenge. What a fantastic ending to a game. Are you gonna battle me once more, buddy? Mm -hmm. You're positively glowing. We got this! the credits roll I think I think the credits roll here all right now the series is done you know should have waited a few minutes oh no nope, never mind never mind and so times island challenge came to an end and so did my computer monitor the festival to celebrate the birth of Alola's first champion lasted until late into the night it was so much fun. I'm so glad I got to meet you all. These times in Alola will always be my most precious memories. The next day. Never mind, no credits! I don't know what's going on here. and Awaken's mother. Now, I wonder what will happen today. And the doorbell. What else is new? Was that the doorbell? No, it was something else. Oh, that's gotta be Kukui. Why don't you let him in time? Mouth! And get out of my bedroom! Actually, it's how. Time! It's a disaster. A total disaster. What's wrong, Hal? Oh, Auntie. Evening. Sorry. I'll explain later, but, but, time has to come with me right now. If we don't hurry, the ship is gonna leave. Ship? Run! Run, boy! Run! We don't even get to walk it. We're just, we're in constant cutscene. You know, Lily, Kanto's a long way away from here. Try not to let the jet lag hit you too hard. Bernays, well, she said she'd be too sad to watch you go, so she wouldn't even come out with me. I know it's a lot to ask, but forgive her this time, would you? She did tell me to let you know the loft in the lab is yours to use indefinitely. So you can come back and stay whenever you like, Lily. 
You didn't tell us! How? I'm sorry, but I've decided I have to go to Kanto. To help my mother get better, but more than that, to help myself get stronger. Of course I'm sad to leave Alola. But the thoughts of going to Kanto also fills my heart with excitement. I'm going to become a real trainer and meet all kinds of wonderful Pokemon. I'm going to travel all around Kanto, just like we did here on Alola, for your island challenges. And no matter what happens on my journey, I'm going to be okay. Because of the smiles that you shared with me, you in time, and everyone here. Thank you all so much. And that's why someday, someday I'll come back to Alola again. But, but, I haven't got to say any of the things I wanted to say to you. So, so, uh... I'm gonna send you a letter. A really, really long one. You'd better wait. I will, Hal. And please, take this. Time? It may look a little worn, but this is because this was my most treasured belonging once. We got a polka doll. What do you do with a polka doll? Then I suppose this is goodbye. Only for now. I bet she'll be back one day. Maybe. It's been like a round trip. Round trip. Twenty years. You start out in Kanto. And now you watch one of your friends journey out to Kanto. It's a nice way to put it. 20 years of Pokemon. Now, I know what it's like when you can't help but cry. But you know... When you're saying goodbye to someone you love, you gotta show them in one last smile, yeah. Yeah. I think I wanna go see my gramps. Yeah, let's all go home. We've got people waiting for us. Our families are waiting for us. Is that a Pokeball I didn't grab? Whoops. I obviously scoured the world pretty good. Didn't realize how big our house actually is, though. Here are the credits. There's a whole episode after the battle. But these cinematics are great. That Meowth is one loving cat. We're walking home after our long journey. But we've done it. We've done it, guys. I gave you all the mushy stuff in the last episode, so I don't need to do that again, I don't think. But we'll watch and sit and talk, because I'm pretty sure you guys want to see these credit arts too, just as much as I do, as that Meowth runs around our feet. He still wants our room! What you doing, Mom? That's weird. And the key cap. Meow! She's welcoming in the moonlight. What a fantastic way to end it. I think. Like I said, I've been saying that this whole time. Nope. What is going on now? Wow. Alright, now we've got some credits. Again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this series. It has been a fantastic run. Um, especially considering it was my first LP. First full-fledged LP. Um, we, we've had some mishaps. We had a lot of struggles with Speedy at the start. We had trial error after trial error with Wishy Washy and Lorantis. But you know what, guys? We made it unscathed through pretty much the whole thing. We were still, I definitely say we were overleveled near the end. Um, but we were on par with Tapu Koko. 
so that's a thing. I don't know if we were supposed to be or not. But this animated style looks awesome. And like I said, I'm going to try and talk my way through this entire credit line because that is what we are here to do to check out all these images and have fun with Sun and Moon. Now that it's over though, I've got a ton of things that I want to do. I need to check out Ultra Beasts. I gotta check out the rest of the Tapus. I don't know if I'm gonna do any of this on screen though, guys. I am not here to show a full playthrough in the regards of collecting everything and doing that. I want to do the story. That is the one thing that I really was interested in. And we never got to see... I'm surprised they brought in that other Ultra Beast that fought Tapu Koko, because we didn't get to see her outside of it. And Lycanroc Midnight form looks amazing! in cartoon form. He's like, ah, give me, give me your food. Give me! So, I'm interested to see what happens here. Like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do. If there's any story-related stuff, I'll try and include it back in. But it looks like we're done uh, with Lily being now in Kanto and how going back to his grandpa. And I don't know what to expect still. Like I said, for me, I've barely touched the skin of Pokemon. The storyline is usually, it's sort of like Call of Duty to me, where the storyline is the, just, the, just the touch of the iceberg. It's just the tip. There's still so much for me to learn, so much for me to go over, whether it be competitive, whether it be hanging out with friends during battle spots, or um, battle royales, or um, free-for-alls. There's going to be so much still for you guys to see from Sun and Moon. And that's one thing I was really happy for with this game coming out is... I get to experience so much more with you guys and have a ton of fun. So if you guys are interested, you guys have got to let me know down in the comment section below what you guys want to see from me. Um, now at this point, obviously I'll have battles, I'll have had all these things that I've mentioned already come onto the channel because it'd be kind of silly to wait until the series is done. But I'm going to have a good time with you guys. We're going to have a fantastic run. And as this channel grows with Sun and Moon and TCG, don't get me wrong, TCG is going nowhere fast. We're going to have Sun and Moon TCG in the new year. I'm pretty sure this will come right to it, right into January, right when Sun and Moon, the TCG, hops up, and we'll be able to start some more battles with that as well. We're going to have a ton of stuff still to do on this channel. So you guys have got to subscribe, you guys have got to hit those like buttons, and you guys have gotta sub show your support because we are a family we can do this we are going to be a great channel sun and moon is just the start the question is what kind of images are we going to see here those two are definitely up way too late playing video games again way too late I guess the best I guess I can give you guys a couple questions too for the finale. Um, who was your favorite trial captain out of it all? Um, I definitely want to say my favorite trial captain was probably Acerola. Not because she went Elite Four, but she had the most personality, she had a lot of character, and as I say it, there she is on the screen. She's taking care of kids. She's got the Mimikyu, which I gotta go back and catch still. Uh, there's a lot of Pokemon in this game that I have not seen yet in-game. Like I said, I spoiled the decks way, way when it first leaked. So, the Pokemon were not a surprise. But the characters, the storyline, and who became the champion, the first ever champion, that was the best thing we could have had. We did a fantastic job of keeping all that kind of hidden from us, and I can't wait to start doing the other stuff. Um, I think there's Battle Tree. I still haven't got all the Zygarde stuff, which means I can't access Zygarde yet. Um, and like I said, there's a whole bunch of other things still missing. Um, I don't know if we get to go and do battles against these people again, but was, again, one of the things I think this game did right was... was gave a character to every single person in the game pretty much. Like, anybody relevant to the story, you got to see them do something. Um, barring Guzma, I think. Guzma kind of was like, yeah, we did something, but Team Skull was kind of underwhelming for me. It wasn't Team Skull necessarily that actually 
did anything. The Aether Foundation did, which a lot of people uh, speculated which was going to be true. Um, the Aether Foundation definitely was going to be the big villains of the show. And just looking at Luzamine, especially when she gave us that weird squint when the Ultra Beast kind of showed up, you knew it was going to happen. I didn't know she was going to turn into a jellyfish, though. That was a big surprise. That was a big surprise. I guess the other thing, too, is let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite Pokemon from Gen 7. This is a big one because it's actually a pretty big deck. And you can go ahead and spoil any of the Ultra Beasts, because like I said, this time in the game, I've already played through it, guys. Um, by the time you guys see this episode, I'll have already done it. There was a lot of story. There's Guzma and his Galisipa. Gal Galisipa? The names are a little hard to pronounce sometimes. But uh, once we get used to them, I think they'll be better. That was the same with Gen 6s. Eh. Well, I guess like Pachirisu and all those kind of things. Like when you see it initially, it's like, how do I say that? But Pachirisu, you literally just said it out. Galisipod is harder because of the way the pronunciation is. But that is all for today. There's your Aether Foundation. We're into the technical support now. I have a feeling that these credits are finally going to come to an end. I don't know. I have a feeling some of you have already clicked away. But that, if for those of you who haven't, hit hashtag Pokemon Moon in the comment section below. Because you know what? That means you guys are real MVPs. You have hit yourselves up as a final supporter to the end of this episode. Again, I don't know what's at the end of this. I don't know. We're already 40 minutes deep into nothing? I don't know. I thought this was going to be a little shorter than it already was. I don't know. Testing! Oh man, there's so many pictures. But we're almost there, I bet you. We're almost there. Like I said, I want to see if there's anything right, right at the end, because I screwed up last time already, so it's like, I can't call these credits, and I know we're in the credits, but I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. We're already done? I'm just ready to play! Yeah. I'm ready to play more. I'm ready to play more. All I can think of right now, though, is the amount of episodes I've got to edit and record, or edit and render and do that for you guys, because, like I said, I bulk record, and this is for, like, a daily thing. I didn't even get my Savali! I need a Type Null on my team. I wanted Type Null. I really did. Savali looks so cool. All I can say, guys, is you're going to see all my favorite Pokemon in battles coming up. I will get these things shiny. I will get these things battle ready. Maybe not shiny. Some of these things may not be shiny. Like Savali, if it's a gift, they're not going to be shiny. I don't, I don't have the ability to re soft reset like some people do. But I will be doing what I can to get the shinies. I've been doing it already. Come on, credits! And already, there's the big family. There's the rock rough, you know, photo bombing like always. But still, the biggest hyped match of this epi this entire series was the champion. Seeing Professor Kukui as your final boss was incredible. I absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. Cannot wait to see what else comes. So, hopefully, this is the end? Is this the end? I think it's the end. Yes! It's gotta be the end. It's gotta be the end. Lily and Lunala. Everyone's smiles shine so brightly. Those smiles led us to so many other people. And those meetings will lead us to a bright future. I'm so glad I got to meet everyone. I'm so glad I got to meet you. Because I know it's Lily talking. Pokemon 
moon. And with that, guys, I'll see you guys next time. But until then, time out.